Hi, good morning, everyone. I'm Andy Browning. Um, over the course of time, the United States has been a prosperous nation of economic growth and expansion. This development directly correlates to America's energy securities since the beginning of the Industrial Age. However, due to an increase in population and size, America's energy security is becoming uncertain. The country's reliance on imported oil is becoming detrimental to the economy and the environment. To end America's energy crisis, the United States must pursue diverse energy policy beneficial both to the environment and economy while maintaining current domestic growth rates. All right, this morning I'd like to start with this uh, chart we have here. Uh, this is our current, somewhat current, it's 2007, uh, where we get our energy. And as you can see, we get a large source from petroleum and coal, 23%, 39%, 23% natural gas. And we only have 8% nuclear and 7% renewable. And then there's a really small fraction for solar and wind. And so it is costing us a lot of money to do this because currently 60% of America's oil uh, that is burned is imported from other nations. Um, so the dependence on foreign oil is really costing us. According to EIA's energy in brief, um, the dependence on foreign oil has cost the United States $5.6 to $14.6 trillion from 1970 to 2004. Um, and currently oil and coal is our largest source of energy. Um, so we really need to be looking uh, for nothing else to save us money to diverse where we're getting our energy. Um, so there's a, a bunch of bad stuff also that goes along with burning coal and oil. Uh, there's a lot of carbon emissions and uh, it's, it's very costly to remove this carbon. Uh, removing carbon dioxide emissions from the environment could be as expensive as uh, $3,500 per ton. Um, for example, in 2007, environmental cleanup uh, would have cost the United States $7.7 .7 trillion. Um, other things emitted into there, uh, carbon dioxide, sulfur dioxide, nitrogen dioxide, and mercury. Um, I have a quote from Benjamin Sobel's article, Seven Suppositions About Energy Security in the United States. Each year, the United States electricity uh, industries emits almost eight tons of air pollution for each person in the country, more than 100 times their weight. Because of this, there has been a strong movement for the environmental to pursue, uh, I'm sorry, uh, preservation in the United States. Uh, so our feeling needs to be environmentally friendly. Um, we are working on nuclear energy currently. Um, like it says here, it's only 8%, but we haven't built any nuclear power plants since 1979. Um, and the reason we have stopped making those is the Three Mile Island accident. Uh, people got scared and they didn't really want to pursue nuclear energy anymore. Um, however, nuclear energy is very cost effective. It's uh, cheaper than coal and oil and it's uh, more efficient. Uh, currently, France runs 95% uh, of energy is nuclear energy. So we're behind them big time and uh, the positives of nuclear energy, um, there's no carbon emissions for one. Um, it has comparable amounts of energy as coal. Um, it's more affordable and we'd be less dependent on uh, foreign oil. Uh, we'd be all self-sufficient. Um, now, I was not to say nuclear is the only uh, difference we could do, we could work to improve our uh, solar and wind energy. Um, right now it's very expensive to do solar and uh, it's not very efficient. The batteries don't hold the power that well, so we really need to work to improve those. Um, so in summary, the United States must continue to develop a diverse energy policy uh, to be a beneficial nation as a whole. Thank you.